Hi lovelies and welcome to the Witch's Cookery. Get your fanciest walking outfit on because today we're hitting the capital of Spain. And if you just spent all the witch chicken up in Barcelona, you're probably in good company, but it's actually Madrid. And I have a ton out of the box ideas for urban witchcraft for you. Inspiration for all you city dwellers that wanna manifest that rich witch energy. You're gonna stroll through the local parks, wanna hit some thrift stores and little mercadillos to see what local witchy equipment we can find. Probably also gonna have a couple of witchy book suggestions for you and since my countryside personality and my city personality are two very different types of witches there's a ton of spell inspiration for manifestation magic in here for the witch that wants to make their dreams become their reality oh yeah and please excuse if this vlog is a bit more shaky than my usual aesthetic b-roll but madrid is not really the place for an unmanned tripod if you know what i mean so this will be handheld <laughs> Now let's start this day off right with a little bit of coffee magic because we need a ton of energy today. And that is actually something I did all the time when I used to live in a city and get takeout coffee because it's the most simplest yet most amazing thing. Now you know like usually in my vlogs obviously I'm surrounded by nature and I love to like do a little morning meditation, maybe sit by the river and like harvest those natural energies, you know, this kind of like go with the flow energy that I get out of my nature moment. But you can do the same in a city in a bit of a different way. I mean, you probably all know that one coffee shop that will put your name on the cup. Uh, I'm not gonna say their name because they're absolutely angry me by putting the pumpkin spice latte in exactly the day after I will leave the city. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not holding a grudge. Sometimes when I had like a day coming up, maybe in a business, I had like negotiations ahead of me or I had a very difficult conversation and I needed an extra bit of big ball energy. I would go and get a coffee from said chain and instead of saying my own name, I would think of a personality, either fictional or like a real life person that possessed certain qualities, certain way about themselves, how they carried themselves or how they acted that would help me in said situation. So let's say, for example, for business negotiations. Hello, my name is Chris, Chris Cheddar, that is. I came home from work and wanted a little caffeine pick-me-up before starting a very sensual, lovely evening with my partner. Morticia. Funny entertainer personality, Lily, because Lily Singh is the best. So I would basically just give them a fake name and channel my inner so-and-so. So today I want to have like this quirky day in the city. I want to meet up with friends. I want to be very lucky with my thrift finds. So I think today I will be Phoebe. I mean, to be honest, though, that probably works best uh, if you're not always going to the same coffee shop um, because they either will think that, um, you know, you have like a strange profession, double agent, sex worker, or you're just taking a different personality out for a little coffee ink. <laughs> nice thing of revisiting a city that you have either lived in or visited a lot of times is that there is no pressure to really sightsee and do all the touristy things but you can go to your secret little hangout spots to the hidden away jewels to your favorite restaurants bars places that made your experience there memorable this is where i used to live the lady just came and went in and absolutely sneaking in behind her Oh, I wonder if the little dwarfs are still there. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
And obviously having lived here so long, there are many favorite places for me. And I do have a little witch tip for you. As you might know, I am a really big fan of scripting. Scripting is a manifestation method that includes writing things that you desire down as if they already had happened. If you've read The Secret, if you're into the law of attraction, you know the drill. There are many, many different methods and I will dive deeper into that in a specific dedicated video. But what I really, really like to do was just to have a little scripting journal always in my bag. And if I came across an inspirational spot, I would take it out and take five to 10 minutes to really just sit down and script. So what does that entail? So let's say I really want to manifest a specific job. I really want to work for that one big law firm or for that big newspaper or just in a certain district. I would go there, I would find a coffee shop that is just really close to there and I would act as if I was on lunch break from that shop. Would sit there, have my lunch, have a coffee and script how my day at that specific shop is going. So today I had an awesome meeting, I have such lovely colleagues, my office is overlooking the park, the greenery, I'm just enjoying my coffee break. Or you can also use it if you want to manifest a really nice home for you. You go to a fancy neighborhood that you enjoy, you sit there maybe in a little park or a bench that you can find and you just write down how exactly your house is looking. You can even go there and find a house that kind of resembles what you would want to own one day. So one day when I have uh, too much money, I definitely want to buy an apartment over there which is next to my old building I just built a new it's called park and palace madrid and they're like lux apartments so what does that do well if you do believe in the law of attraction and more like the the woo woo side of things you can speak things into existence you just put it out in the universe and you receive it i'm more at the psychological scientifically proven side of things this type of exercise is a huge motivator if you cannot dream it if you cannot picture it if you cannot convince your brain that it's actually a possibility it's also very hard to achieve because you will always have doubt in your mind you will always have like something like oh later or that's un unobtainable anyway if you write it down if you fake it until you make it if you put yourself in a situation feel those feelings like vividly picture it because you're actually physically there that helps a ton to get you motivated to trick your brain into action and also to keep your energy high to keep going after things get rid of all your sorrows in the summer sea I love living in the countryside there are a couple of things that I do miss in the city and that's mainly the amount of things that is going on in a big city like Madrid every weekend you have like a festival flea markets cool gatherings meetups where I live in the weekends you're pretty much limited to nature walk or church and when I was still living here where you could definitely find me were all the mercados that were going on like the different little hip neighborhoods like Malasaña, Barrio de las Letras have like just these like neighborhood flea market slash yard sales that they just organize themselves the people that live there and then of course you have like the bigger organized one Rastro being the most famous which has been there since 400 years and you can have really cool finds then you have one that's the Rafe Market, you have one in an old train station very similar to the one in London. Lots of vintage things, things that come with a history. Obviously secondhand buying is also coined to the environment. And even though today unfortunately there is no flea market going on, I thought we are going to hit some of the quirky little stores and see what we can find for our witchcraft practice. It has to be small because I only travel with hand luggage and I want to have something that just invokes the Madrid city energy that I can then use at home. So let's thrift!
appeared at this little book, uh, used book fair, I got a three Harry Pratchett novels that I already read but I only own the audiobooks and I'll have them and I know if you've been following my channel for a longer time you're probably sick and tired of hearing that name but if you haven't read Terry Pratchett yet, you should read it because he has an amazing take on also spirituality, modern day witchcraft, society and um, Um, a tip for books in Spanish, witchy books in Spanish. Um, if you don't know Solitude of Alana, you should check her out. She's on YouTube too. She is from the north of Spain. I'm gonna link her channel down below. And she wrote these two books. And I will choose the, the inner bosque, the inner forest today. <laughs> And while we're at the topic of books, I actually am always impressed with Spanish bookstores that they have like a, even a kids section has a lot of the witchery magic type of things in here. They have like their own um, little shelf for it and they have like a lot of things like very easy to understand things for kids like manifestation, potion making, um, mythology, so it's really really cool. Next to about 20 kilos in books I actually did also find something useful, a wallet and that definitely reminds me of Madrid because I mainly lived here for business, little Capricorn that I am. And as you can imagine there is a ton of folk witchcraft, superstition, spells around money, attracting wealth, abundance and there's even feng shui for your wallet. Now, According to that, an orange wallet attracts luck in various aspects of your life and also brings in income and abundance from unexpected corners. You're also supposed to make sure that your wallet isn't cluttered, so only your cards go in there and money goes in there and you want a broad purse so you don't have to fold the bills. Because according to the teachings, if you fold your money, there is less room for more, less room for growth. You're even supposed to leave a space empty, but of course you could fill that space with a little bit of Vesta inventory. Now, depending on the culture you put different objects in your wallet to attract that money magic. In Spain for example as well as in some other Mediterranean countries that would be an olive leaf. In some countries it's lentils or rice, three silver coins bound with a ribbon or what I do just a little written down spell so you could just write down what you would want to attract to have physical things that you would want to buy with that money which also serves as a great reminder every time you open that wallet to spend money on something that you really don't need. I'm personally a big believer in abundance and money mindset so I write down abundance of Affirmations. What is money mindset is basically just a shift in your thinking, battling those limiting beliefs that you might have. For example, I will never be a millionaire, I will never be rich, money doesn't grow on trees, I have to be complacent with the income I have. Those money affirmations definitely also help with building self-worth and in turn demanding fair pay. So as much as I like the hustle and bustle of the city, uh after a couple of hours I get tired of it, so uh, I need some nature and luckily we have a ton of parks, so let's sit. Oof, the sun! <laughs> so I also just learned that uh, the Spanish word for peacock is pavo real, so the royal turkey, and I find it's the funniest thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. 